Hey Canucks fans, hope you are doing well. The Vancouver Canucks defeated the Arizona Coyotes 2-1 at Rogers Arena. Once again, I'm here to break down all the goals. As you can imagine, with only three goals total, there's going to be some breaking down of goals and a bit of breaking down of non-goal highlights as well. Let's get going. The first highlight we'll see is from the first period, and it's basically the second half of a Canucks power play in which they utterly dominated the Arizona Coyotes. So for here, you see Miller back to Petey, makes a nice little move here on Kraus, goes in, takes a shot, and Ingram makes a save with a stick. Now it's Miller's turn, pass it to Petey, no, sorry to Hughes. Hughes comes down, back to Miller. Miller shoots and just misses. I think he had the open side there on Ingram's glove hand. It's Hughes now. Hughes comes in, takes a shot. That one goes off of Ingram's blocker. So now three of the five Canucks players have had a shot attempt. Miller back to Hughes. Hughes circles, gives it to Kuzmenko for a tip. Too bad that didn't go in. This is one of the 11 minutes that Kuzmenko did play. Still keeping the puck in the zone. Besser's the only one who hasn't had a shot in this highlight. Is Besser going to shoot there? He's got a chance. No, it puts it back to Hughes. Hughes looks around, looks around. Puts it towards the net and it goes through the crease. Besser gets it and uh, it was all for naught. Here's a nice break by Lafferty. Lafferty comes in, takes a shot, and Ingram makes a save. La Lafferty takes a tumble in the corner. There's another Canucks power play. Here's Hughes. Good shot. Uh, Miller there for the rebound, but there was no rebound for Miller to get. Now this is a goal. We'll watch this in real time first. Miller to Hughes to Petey. That's at least the second time that that play has worked. And that's Pedersen's 24th goal of the season on the power play. Now let's see how this works. It's actually a pretty simple goal to break down because it only takes three seconds after the puck is dropped. So Miller wins the draw clean, goes back to Hughes. And here's the one thing that I, I think I, uh, I really want to point out. We know Petey's got the wicked one-timer and he's left-handed, so that's on a strong side. When Kraus... What I noticed about this play is Kraus hesitated. Instead of going straight at Petey, which even in roller hockey, because I'm a forward, they tell me to if I'm the outside guy that I have to go check the the player, the opposing player, whether it's a defenseman or a forward, I gotta check the, the outside guy and make a beeline toward him during the face-off. But Kraus, even he takes one step, that slight hesitation towards Hughes. I'm not sure why he went after Hughes, maybe because he saw that his guys were getting tied up and he didn't want Hughes to have a shot. I don't know about you, I'd be more worried about Petey's shot than Hughes' shot. So sure enough, he doesn't get there in time. And then look at this shot. Look at Petey. Look at look how it's almost like he's going to break his left knee there with a wicked one-timer. And the puck, you can already see, it's right there. It's already doing this trajectory, not the glove side. So it actually goes underneath of Krause's outstretched stick. And there we go. Look at that. Bar down. Ingram had no chance. No goalie has a chance on that, unless you're maybe a little bit bigger than Ingram. But what a beautiful shot by Petey. We'll have a chance to watch this a few times. Here's another good look at it. So right there, that's a good play by Kuzmenko to block off him. And you see Kraus is looking at Hughes. I think Kraus should have been looking at Petey. Because there, he took one step. And as he takes that one step, that's all Hughes needs to get the puck over. And the, the brilliant shot by Pedersen. Ingram can't even, he didn't know where it went. There's the flex, there's his, his broken knee there, his broken leg, and then now it's 1-0 Canucks. Arizona gets it back pretty darn quick though. Zucker puts it up to Kerfoot. Kerfoot looks around and he tries to gain the middle and is actually fans on his pass and it goes right to ex Canuck Travis Dermott. And it was Dermott's first goal, I think, in my understanding in over a calendar year. And I, I like Dermot a lot, and I was actually very happy that he scored, and I talked about that actually on my uh, on my Twitter account. But once again, here we see um, it, it's Alex Kerfoot coming into the middle, and I'll just back it up a little bit. I didn't like Hronik's play here. So here it looks pretty safe. Here it looks pretty safe, and I get it. Hronik's gotta stay between the player and the goal, which is fine, but and here, I, I like to see a stronger play from Hronik. You can pin him against the boards without taking a penalty. And and I know there's this, this guy streaking here. Suter's there. So it seems pretty safe. And what he does, though, is Kerfoot just makes a quick a quick curl. And now Hronik's kind of in no man's land. He's reaching. You can. This is a bad, a bad sign when a player is reaching as opposed to skating. 
So now maybe we're okay because we have all five Canucks here. It doesn't look too dangerous. But right here, as I think Kerfoot tries to shoot or tries to get it to this player, it actually gets deflected or I'm not sure if that player touches it or whoever. But now the puck goes to Dermot and Dermot has all of the space because I think Demko is either expecting a shot, maybe not expecting a pass to Kraus, but Dermot has all the space and he makes no mistake putting it past Demko. Here's, another, here's a better look at it. So there's Kerfoot. There's a Canuck player reaching. He lifts Kerfoot's stick. And now that I see, I'm looking at that. Did it go off of, of Hronik? It's tough to say. So there's Kerfoot. So that's Mikheyev trying to lift his stick. I actually think this puck goes off of Hronik's stick. Yeah, it does. So Hronik not only makes a poor play in the corner, but then it's actually off of his stick where the puck finds Travis Dermott for the empty net, not the, the half empty net. And there's an overhead look at it from right there. Demko didn't really have much of a chance because he didn't expect that deflection to go straight to the former Canucks. So now it's 1-1 heading into the second period. We're going to see a couple of replays, I think, before we see the final goal. Here's an intercepted an interception there, and Clayton Keller with a chance to beat Demko, but he is foiled. So a good stop by Demko there. Another Arizona Coyotes chance here. Uh, kind, of, kind of a bouncing puck. You see Kraus there. And it gets all the way back to Michelli. Michelli spins around. Oh, and I think that went off of Demko's arm and then the post. Another rush by, by Arizona. Good speed by Cooley and Myers takes... I should, I'm not sure Myers took a penalty there. Here's a power play. We don't score here, but another really good chance by the Canucks. It's Hughes down to Miller. And Miller to Besser and just misses the far side from the bumper position. Here's the end of the power play. Miller gets it to Kuzmenko. Kuzmenko puts in there. And look look at Petey here. Just look. The puck's actually loose. You can't really see here, but Petey kind of goes in there and then he gets taken out for his troubles by McMain. <laughs> There's Joshua with no, no stick. Kicks it up. Here's Connor Garland trying to fight out the much bigger player. And Garland gets a decent shot off as well. Kind of a David and Goliath, or more appropriately, a David and Garland situation there. Here's the goal. Here's the goal. Myers to Bluger. Bluger to Hoglander. And Joshua rushing towards the net and taking the rebound and putting the puck past. And this ends up being the game winner because this is the 2 1 goal. Joshua's 12th goal of the season, a career high. And um, when you see the highlights, the replay, you actually really appreciate um, Joshua's skilled play here. So Myers, a quick up to Bluger, Bluger to Hoglander, who stays on side. And then right here looks pretty innocent. You have all five Coyotes here. You have Hoglander ready to take a shot. And that's Clayton Keller, a forward, trying to um, check Dakota Joshua, who's a lot bigger and stronger. There. So Hoglander puts the puck into Ingram's pads, a really good, safe play. You want to shoot it low and, and create a rebound. And I don't think Joshua tips it on the way in. But right away, he's right there. And look at that. So right there, you think maybe Ingram's in a really good spot because he's got the pad, he's got the glove. But Joshua actually, while getting checked by Keller, has the wherewithal to, to shield Keller off with his body and at the same time, on his forehand, drag the puck out of the crease and pass Ingram there. An excellent, excellent skill goal. Here's Hoglander again. Nice shot. Maybe he was going, looking for the... The Joshua deflection, but instead it reaches Ingram's pads. You see Joshua there. And here's a really good look. It looks like Ingram's pretty safe here. Do you think Joshua's skilled enough to hit that small spot while holding off Keller? He is, because then he just kind of does this and uh, it drags it a little bit to his forehand. So look at this. Both his skates are past the goal line and he puts it in. And not only in, but he actually puts it up, which is a very, very good goal. And let's look at it one more time here showing in real time, showing Joshua's great hands third period nothing to show because there's no goals you just see a last gas chance for the Arizona Coyotes Demko makes one of his 20 saves on the night and the Canucks win the game two to one and they kick off their five game homestand with a win so Canucks fans hope you enjoyed that breakdown let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if there's something that stood out to you or or is there something that I that I taught you or showed you that you actually missed when you're watching the game. Let me know. I love 
I always love to receive your feedback. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Carol Bovelander, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you for watching, for subscribing, and for liking the video. So on your way out, subscribe, like, leave a donation if you'd like to, become a member, upgrade your membership, and definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this game and which highlight stood out to you and why. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless, and go Canucks go.